mechanical triage here and I'm putting the truck back together. Let me give you a quick overview of everything that's in this service truck. And to start off in the back, we got the vacuum cleaner, all the kits, strut kit, compression tester, fuel tester, pulley puller, brake tool for pushing calipers back, a Dremel in case we need that, a couple gallons of water, and an empty oil container, air compressor, air reel, Back there, we got a Blue Top Optima battery and a 3000 watt inverter, which comes up here and has a control and an outlet. We got onboard welding and a coolant pressure testing kit. I got a power reel, I got jumper cables, miscellaneous fluids, some extra supplies, chains, and a tow strap. One and a half ton jack, a couple of jack stands, 12 ton hydraulic jack, two by fours, some oil pans some parts trays, another pan, garbage can, and a cone just in case. Got a vise out on the end of the uh, bed here. This saw slides right in. Over here we got some funnels of miscellaneous shapes and sizes. And over here we have a smoke tester and a bunch of vacuum tubing. Hide away the stash brake clean. Got a fire extinguisher and a med kit. And here on the driver's side, the daily tools include some pick sets, some pliers of various shapes and sizes, screwdrivers, all of your wrenches, different size shorties, a couple of vice grips for holding different things, punches, some spray paints and some butane for the torch lighter for soldering, some paints, oil filter tools, Daily chemicals, brake clean, silicone, oil, the green high-vis gloves. I don't know why, but I like these ones better. It just shows you that your hands are dirty. They also last a little bit longer than some of the black ones. We got miscellaneous drill bits and impact set. Drill, 3 8 and the quick release impact gun. Got four inch cutoff wheel. All the miscellaneous attachments for cleaning up surfaces on the drill. Bolt meter, hammer, some rags. Back over here we have a lot of miscellaneous things. I kind of know where everything is here, but it's kind of hard to see everything. Some miscellaneous specialty tools, fuel disconnects, all the other little stuff here. And down there we got all the ratchets and extensions. And all the sockets. Torx. Miscellaneous size Torx. E sockets hiding over there in the corner. And then on the passenger side, we have half inch tools, ratchets, specialty sockets, all the sockets, impact, chain wrench, extensions, break in bag, all the heavy tools, all the heavy wrenches, battery chargers, because I got an inverter, all the other heavy tools, and some light bulbs, some relays, and such. Every size hose clamp, some heater hose fittings, down to this side, all the adhesives, glues, specialty tools, specialty tools, specialty tools, some map gas because that's the only thing that's going to get hot enough without having a cutting torch, the head for that guy there, and then all of this random miscellaneous, some batteries, wires, nuts, bolts, hardware, 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 and some more hardware. I will put a link to the uh, website in the description. You should check it out. All the tools that I have in the truck are itemized somewhere in that website. And uh, if you see something here that you don't have and that you want, that you need, check out the website. It's all there. This truck is now cleaned up and ready for service. And here I go.